All right, we're back here on the floor at Out of Chicago. We're wrapping up the day here, coming into the mid-morning, and we have Matt Kleskowski here. What's up, man? What's up? How you been? Good, buddy. How about you? Excellent. Always great to see you at shows and, and hang out and stuff. It is, and this one's a fun one because it's... It's a lot going on, but it's a little bit more intimate than a lot more than intimate. a lot of the, the the bigger shows where it's just there's a thousand things going on. Here, there's only a hundred things going on, so <laughs> which so. is enough. It keeps I like you busy. it here. It's a, it's a lot of fun. This is, Chris did a Chris and his team did an awesome job. Now this is your first time out of Chicago, yeah, right? Yeah. Very cool. So. Uh, what, what's your overall view as far as you, you like the intimacy? Is it, have you been going photo walking, taking pictures and stuff? Yeah, I mean, you know what? It's such a it's such a cool place for for a show because you know, I mean it's it's a great city for it. Yep. So you know you think of like when we talk about the big shows in the industry, yeah, um, you know, a lot of them in Vegas, yep. and it's like kind of I mean, done with like, Vegas. How many times are you gonna go take pictures of just big gaudy casinos and stuff like that? Um, so it's like yeah, a lot of it's in Vegas, but this is it's such an awesome city for yep. it. Like you get the photo walk part of it, you get to walk out walk with the instructors and then you get a lot of classroom stuff too so yeah and it's Vegas cool. is so spread out too you kind of just to get out to the street it's just horrible yeah you know? oh yeah it, ta I mean, it takes 10 minutes just to get to the street yep. so exactly so, so um you know you're going out and you've been doing mostly landscape photography outdoor photography stuff like that um and i hear you're going up to glacier soon yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing. A, I'm teaching a workshop in Glacier National Park next month. So. That's awesome. I have not um, been there yet. So I've never been list. either. I've never been either. I'm, I'm, I'm psyched. It's, psyched about it. It's been on my bucket list for a long time. So Very I'm excited. Cool. So, so a lot of people don't get to go to these big parks. Like yeah. you're saying, you've never been there. I've never been there. What are, what are some like ideas for people? Where can people go to get outstanding photos like nearby to them? What's, what's a couple things that you can kind of give them tips for? Like, hey, yeah. you can't make it out to the big park this year but you know somewhere close by so not necessarily location but yeah. like a type of well, shot you know what I would say is 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 you you have to you have to kind of get out beyond you have to get out from your house into your hometown yeah um, and then you have to everyone kind of <laughs> downs their hometown unless they live somewhere awesome but <laughs> A lot of people yeah. that kind of like, oh, I live in somewhere. There's nothing. There's nothing good there. I, and I get it, but there's there's something pretty if you're an outdoor photographer. Sure. You know, it doesn't have to be the grand landscape. Sure. There, there's 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 beautiful things um, outside. Whether it's going to be flowers, whether it's going to be trees, whether it's going to be a lake in a park or whatever. Um, you have to just yeah to kind of look for it. You I have think. to look for. It. And then what I say is is and and I have to do this back home um, is go go back over and over again yeah um i it's it's interesting because about a month or two ago i took a photo at a place that i've been to about 12 times it's about 20 30 minutes from my house and um and i got i got my favorite photo of it nice after after having gone there for like two years but it's like you know when i'm feeling like i want to shoot and i want to get out and explore and then i i explore around it but i usually end back at this spot but like I got a totally, I wonder here, can I like pull up on my phone? Yeah. Well, I don't, I'll point, I point it at the camera. <laughs> Let's see if they can see it. So nice. they can't see it. Which should I point it there? Yep, and you could, uh, we'll, put, we'll put it you up on the screen it. if you send, All right, yeah, it, so. send it to me, awesome. <laughs> there, that would be better. But the, uh, the cool thing about that is, is like, it's a total different view than I'd ever seen it before. It's right off the side of the road. People walk their dog by it. It's a busy main street. The main street is 10 feet behind me. But I'd never seen, I'd never stood back and seen it that way with the trees framing it. Framing it out. Um, and the light's always different too. So I find but, myself, go, I'm in Arizona now, and I'll go back to the same cactus time and time and time again. And sometimes you leave and you're like, oh, that was a waste of time. But you enjoyed it. You went yeah. out, you got out of the house. You're not sitting there just behind a computer doing social media, you know. So even if you didn't get a good shot, you got an experience out of yeah. it. Yeah. So. But you just keep, go back and work it. Work, work the composition. You know, the first time you go, you're probably just going to stand back, take a photo. Yep. Second time you go, maybe you get a little deeper into yep. it. The third time you walk around and yep. you find something you didn't see. But say if, if you're looking for inspiration and you can't get out to some of these big national parks that yeah. you go online and maybe you see a lot of photos of, um, 
you, you get better by going back to the same places over and over again and you see them a little different way. Yeah, stop documenting and start creating yeah. something yeah. new. So, so um, I've heard some rumors about you possibly doing a new project, you know, with your website and changes in education. So what is what is that I hear? <laughs> So, um, so I work right now. I work full time for On One, um, and uh, and I, I've been there for I guess about a year and a half. It's been great, you know. I've, I've gotten to, you know, one of the things I wanted to do when I left my last life was, you know, I have ideas and features for software, and and kind of wanted to. to try to get some of those things in because I think they're things that can help other people. Sure. Um, so I've gotten to do a lot of that and that's been fun. Uh, but, you know, I've kind of realized like at my heart, I'm, I'm an educator sure. and I really want to be an educator. And so I'm, I'm kind of going off on my own and just, just concentrating on education. Very um, cool. So you're going off on your own. So explain that to me. Are like, you like, that, you know, not uh, leaving, leaving the paycheck and and you know, mattk.com is is now my home, and awesome. it's been my home on the web for a long time. But uh, well, this is gonna be the go-to it, place it'll, now. It'll be the it'll be the place for all the stuff that I do, and um, so I'm 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 That's awesome. I'm excited about it. You know, the, for me, at least being in education, I've kind of seen a shift in in a little bit of the market. YouTube, there's so many videos on YouTube. There's actually good videos on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so it used to be like YouTube videos used to be horrible, yep. but um, now there's actually really good videos on YouTube. And a lot of those videos are from really good people trying to garner that audience and point you to something that's, sure. that's paid. Um, you got a lot of big educational companies that are doing hundreds and thousands of hours of training. And it, it just, I don't think people can watch it all. Yeah. YouTube, big websites, I don't think people can watch it all. So it's hard to find on YouTube sometimes too. Like I'll have to search several videos. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're like, how to fix your lawn sprinklers. And it's like, nope, that sucked. Nope. The guy yeah. put a cell phone over here, I can't even see. You're like trying to look through <laughs> the edge of the screen. It's just, yes. you know, and I get frustrated sometimes yeah. where I just want to, all right. I want to learn Lightroom, which you know you're an expert at. It's like, okay, let me go to mackay.com. He's got this, you yeah. know, and go to the right place for you know and pay for it to be able to you know get what you need. Yeah. So and the goal is, is is to make it more of a personal experience. You know, um, I'll be on my own. I, I don't need I don't need ten thousand people. Yeah. Um, I need I, more I, than I'd, ten. I'd, I'd rather have less people that yeah. I can interact with more. Yeah. Um, in a more personalized type of a way sure. than a whole bunch of people that I can't actually ever talk to. So, so it's uh, going to be mattk.com and it's going to be online content plus you, already, you mentioned workshops. Are you going to integrate that with if they want to come and meet you and do in-person stuff as yep, well? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, it'll be a little bit of both. And uh, I'm excited. Yeah, this is yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm excited too. It's, it's On One's been great. I still, I'm, I still, I will do uh, contract work with them because there's still a lot of things. I, I think they're doing some really neat stuff in the industry. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it'll, be, it'll be a lot of fun. I'll still get to dabble. I'll still get to help sometimes with some of the software stuff and, uh, and, and get to get out it. there. And I love it. I love it. I'm on, for on you. what I love. So, so uh, a couple of tips, photo tips. Um, if you had to give your top one or two tips to people out there doing photography, what, what is it? What do you think they should focus on kind of um, to get better work? Um, it's tough. <laughs> there's so many. Yeah, there's so many. Um, like, I, where do you even start? I'd say, you know... Number one, I think, I don't know the best way to say it. Um, I, I see a lot of people that kind of, you're not shooting, most people that are, are watching this probably are not shooting full time for their job. And so my, my get out there and enjoy it a little bit more. Um, I think there's a certain amount of tech that we like with things and yeah. that's cool. Yeah. But also just kind of enjoy it, you know. And I have to, I have to force myself to do it because yeah. we see we see so many we see so many things going out there. The social media is, yeah. social media has been great for photography, and sometimes it's hard for photographers sure. too because you see so much going on that I think sometimes it's it's inevitable to become a little bit envious. Yeah. Um, so the, one of the tips I can say I guess is comes from a personal experience is is I realized I have a job, I have a wife. I have two kids, 
I have a home that needs my attention. I have all these things. I can't travel around constantly sure. and shoot. That's not going to be me. Yeah. And and I go to 500 PX a lot, and I see all these photos yeah. from Everywhere. these guys that live like the Pacific Northwest. You know, I mean, you, you did, and it's like, dude, these photos are phenomenal. They've gone in and they hike in for three weeks. Yeah. And they basically embed themselves in these beautiful places, and they're great photographers, and they come out with amazing work. And I've had to pull back and say, I'm not going to get that. Yeah. And I know I'm not going to get that. So what I've really done is, is I stay home, and I work the area that I'm in sure. a lot more. So I guess that's that's a tip. Excellent. Uh, is kind of you know try to enjoy a little bit about you where enjoy you it. are. And it's not. And sometimes I tell people not even like like put the camera there and enjoy the scene too while you're there. Don't just yeah. be like in the camera the whole time as well. Just kind of be in the moment. Yeah. So I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if it's a tip. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it's a it's a it's, it's an good. experience that I've personally gone through. Like I've really had to. I used to beat myself up over it. Yeah, like everyone's that, in like, Iceland. Man, that's, I'm right never going to, like, how am I ever going to get a photo like that, you yeah. know? And it's like, I go to the national parks, and it's like, I go to the spots, yeah. but these guys are, like, taking it way beyond that. And I'm just... Yeah, 500 picks is just amazing work. Oh, you beautiful. just go through, and you're like, wow. Beautiful. Wow, wow. it's just, you know, so. Very so. cool. So uh, one thing we always like to ask everyone is, what never fails to inspire you as an artist? So what brings inspiration to your life? Um, what brings inspiration to my life? You know, I am a, uh, I'm a color guy. Yeah. So, I, like, my, my wife will, she'll, she'll, she'll laugh if you, if she heard me say this, because it's so true. I'm a color guy, and I'm a, like, I'm an outdoor, I'm a sky guy. I don't care what the scenery, you know, people think I'm just a landscape photographer. I do landscape travel, I love cities, I love architecture, like wildlife, like, I like all this stuff, but color gets me and I, I'm always looking up in the sky I'm always like I'm driving along and yeah. I'm looking up in the sky I'm like what can I shoot like yeah. if I see pretty clouds I'm like what can I shoot so I, color and, and clouds and sky like it just, just I, I love when I see nice beautiful color awesome awesome so so uh, tell everyone where they could find out about all new changes and updates uh, blogs stuff like that best thing it's just my website Matt K M-A-T-T-K dot com right. and uh, yeah. I, I post on and kind of stay uh Stay updated right on there. Awesome. And when is that rolling out? Uh, the website's been there for years. But the new changes so, are rolling out, you said? So they'll slowly start rolling out over you know, next month next to month? six months and continuously on for that. I mean, cool. Uh, awesome. So it'll be a lot of fun. Well, thanks, thank man. you. I appreciate it. Always great to see you. Right, see you soon. Have a great rest thank of the show. You.